Hey guys, Sarah here. Welcome back to my channel. 30 inks, 30 days, day four. And I realized before we jump into it, I hadn't shown you this, um, which I'm not filming as part of this video, but for Insta. And I'm just doing filling in that month. So those are the first three. And where is it? Yes, today was Pelican Moonstone. I always remember which, so we'll do that one first, don't we? Oopsie doopsie. How pretty is that? Okay, so let's do in here first. Oh, well, do you know what I should probably do first? Some may think this is a silly idea, but maybe we should choose an ink, eh? Hey? I'm just with it, you know? I'm just with it. All right. Closing my eyes. Ooh, what's that one? Diamond Eclipse. Ooh, I'm excited to try this one. I am super excited. I d I'm not sure if it's like a really dark purple or a really dark blue because depending on online when you look at different like swatches it looks kind of like one or the other so super super excited to see what this one actually is what do you think should we like come in there and then maybe we do a big one there another little one in there maybe let's do that let's do this there so super excited to see um how this ink looks at least on the papers that i'm using it on so do a twisty turny Ooh. so on the cuff it kind of looks more purple but that i'm calling that at least as a when it's wet as a really dark blue but a, a deep blue it's got like a a regalness to it in a way doesn't it there's there's a depth there that's really, really lovely as someone who doesn't gravitate towards towards blues. Uh, is this going to have like a really awesome black halo or something? There's, well, it's so rich in there, isn't it? Look at that. Gorgeous. All right. While that dries, let's do two things. The first thing is let's have a sip, sip of tea. And the second thing. Yes. Let's come in here. I think maybe I need a new win frame. Yeah. All right. So I'm guessing you know the drill by now. I do my little splitchy, splotchy things here. A little big one there. And then I'll do my little writing samples and we can have a look. I feel like when Karina does hers, she does kind of a bit more of a tap and a little, she doesn't mess around as much, which I am maybe known to do. Wow. wow. See on this paper, like that's where that, do you know what it is? Is it a blue, black, purple? Is it a blurple, black? black purple or is it a warm blue black do you know what it kind of reminds me of is it kind of like Robert Oster blue black a little bit I wonder you know what I'm just going to grab my little folder Robert Oster, blue, black, Robert Oster. So, bluer. Interesting how that, that is quite purple compared to that. But, oh, look at that halo. There is a really nice black halo coming around. All right. Why don't I actually do the task at hand? But if you can't tell, I'm quite excited by this ink. It's really beautiful. So this is... What did I say? Eclipse. Oh, 
Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Which is a diamonic. Feels really nice on this nib. It doesn't feel like salamander, like it doesn't feel dry at all. It's coming off both of these nibs really nicely. And it looks like a decent amount of ink's going down as well. Oh, that is a gorgeous ink. Has anyone tried this ink before? What what have you put it in? Um, I would love to know your thoughts on it. I'm I've had this on my wish list to try for quite a while, but I don't think I've ever seen anyone like having a currently inked with it or anything like that. So I don't know if there's something hidden about this ink that people don't end up liking or, or whatever it is. But thus far from this little experience um, and exploration, really liking what I'm seeing actually. One, two, three. That's just gorgeous. Look at look at that dries. Interesting, not in the swatch, but in these bits it is drying. I do really see a really dark, dark purple come through. Almost black. Oh my god, this is amazing. I think it was actually yesterday. Sorry, can't talk and write at the same time. It was yesterday I was talking about sometimes wanting to have like a, a black ink in my in my lineup when I'm just wanting kind of a uh, quite unquote standard ink to go to, but then not wanting to use black ink, so wanting something that's close to and talking about, you know, do greys fill that role. But, oh, my God, I take all of that back because I would go for a bottle of this, keep this, you know, on my desk at work, for example, any day. Wow. That is gorgeous. Definitely want to know. Definitely would love to know, guys, if you've used this ink and what you think about it. And actually, I think I'm going to stand corrected. It's not a black halo. What is that? That is a, a brown sheen coming through. You can see it there too, but if you look there. All right, the last little thing to do. Trying to look at the difference. It's hard. The camera doesn't pick up all the kind of little nuances there. But I'll write in here what we're working with. And there we have it. Day four is this beautiful dark blue, black, purple from Diamine, uh, which is Diamine Eclipse. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you could hit like and subscribe, but also let me know what you put this ink in, what pen. I'm super interested to know what your perfect match is. And um, I will see you tomorrow. Bye.